Hello and welcome to the channel. This is TD3Buff and we're going to be talking about DDoSing or DOSing occurring in Destiny, especially in the game modes Trials of Osiris and Iron Banner, the most competitive of game types. Along with that, you can also use this video for other forms of cheating and what you need to do, um, such as lag switching, um, and just you know reference this as well. I hope this video helps as much as possible. If it does, make sure to share it with your friends. Uh, I'm sure they'll really appreciate it because it's not just us that are the only ones that are getting DDoSed or you know, getting cheated against. Now, first off, what we're going to ask is what is a DDoS or a DOS and why it's important. So what a DDoS stands for is Direct Denial of Service and DOS just stands for Denial of Service. Um, Direct denial of service means that you're getting attacked by multiple networks while DOS is just a single thing attacking you. But basically what a DDoS or a DOS is, is a cheater will take um, your IP address and then they will spam your IP address with a bunch of data which are called packets. And what this does to your internet is that when all of this data is going to your IP address, it overloads it which then disconnects your internet for short periods of time as long as you know days it can go as long as that person wants to do it to you which that's the scary part of it all when somebody takes your IP address that is illegal because that is your personal information that they are taking from you without your permission now what does this DDoS or DOS information mean to you well when you get disconnected because of a DDoS where you, or a DOS where you get overloaded with information, and that means you're disconnected from whatever um, game you're playing. Uh, people do it in Trials of Osiris especially because once they DDoS one player or two, then it's either going to be a 2v3 or a 1v3 situation, which, you know, it's sad and it's very illegal and people do it. You know, just, it's, it's annoying. It's annoying. You can get frustrated. I have had this happen to myself multiple times. I've been playing, I've played on all four consoles that you can play Destiny on, from 360 to Xbox One to PS3 to PS4, and I've been DOSed or DDoSed on all four of those consoles, and it can be very, very frustrating. Um, it's not just a console specific thing, it happens on any console. Um, and it's not even just specific to Destiny, it's happening, it has happened to other games such as Call of Duty, you know, Halo, it's just, it just happens. Um, it's not just a game or console specific issue. We know that DDoSing and DOSing has happened in other games, but sadly enough, this has been happening in Destiny since Trials of Osiris released and House of Wolves. Um, but this doesn't mean that we should be deterred from playing this game type because there are things that we can do to how you know, help us out. You know, make sure to punish these uh, posers, these cheaters. Um, and these are the steps that you need to take. Now this is the most important part of the video that you guys need to make sure to you know, understand and take care of once you know that you've been DDoSed or DOSed. Now the first thing is you need to make sure to calm down as much as you possibly can. You've been DDoSed, you've been DOSed, but now what do you do? You just gotta make sure to calm down so that you do the right steps of making sure that they don't do that to another player or yourself again. And if you you know get flustered and say you just you know don't you don't do the proper steps, then you just give them another win. Now, once you suspect this has happened, now what you need to do is make sure that you can get a recording of what just happened. If you can't, then make sure that somebody else on your team um, gets a recording of that, because that's going to be important once you actually submit your report to Bungie and it gives you video evidence of it actually happening. And that's very important to so make sure to record as soon as you possibly can. The next thing you want to make sure to do is to reset your router and or your modem to make sure that your internet runs smoothly again because it's just been attacked, it's just disconnected out of nowhere. Um, it may um, have some issues um, afterwards. So resetting it will just make sure to refresh it and fix any you know minor common issues that will occur after you've been DOSed or DDoSed. For the more serious attacks where you feel like you, you know, you're still disconnected and you still can't do anything, make sure to change your IP address and make sure to talk to your internet service provider and they'll you know, 
will help you every step of the way to make sure to reset and change your IP address. Now that we made sure that your internet is you know back and running, uh, make sure to go to bungie.net and go to your Crucible game history. Now what you need to do is look for the game that you were DDoSed or DOSed from and copy the URL. Next you want to go to this website and the link will be in the description on bungie.net so you can report the players that committed this against you. Uh, with this report form you want to attach the video evidence you recorded or your friend recorded. After you submit your report to Bungie, uh, they will then investigate what has happened and you know, look into the match and you know, look at, into them more. The more reports that they get, um, especially from other players, the more likely they will get investigated and then they will get resulted into having temporary bans or even permanent bans, which is why this whole process is very important and why you need to make sure to do this once you get DDoSed or DOSed. Now the sad thing about it all is that sure you can do all the reporting against this player but then you won't ever really know when they'll actually get temporary banned or permanent banned. The only way that you'll know this is going to the actual profile and seeing uh, their activity overall. And usually um, it's not super hard to I guess just go to their profile and just see if they're inactive. But, I mean, if you reported them and you have valid evidence and you know that they DDoSed or back switched or did anything, you know, cheating wise to you, then more than likely they're just going to get banned and you already, you don't have any reason to worry because um, they're going to be gone. Now, make sure to, you know, share this to your friends. We need to make sure to get all of these cheaters, DDoSers, lag switchers, everything. They need to get, they need to get gone. The more you report these players, the better of a community we're going to have, the less that we're going to have to worry about cheating. Now, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys uh, you know, think I missed anything or you want to you know, let me know anything at all, uh, just type something in the comments and you know, let me know how I did. But um, I hope this really does help people because it has not just been one of the times that it happened to me. I've had this DDoSing or DOSing happen to me plenty of times. So again, thank you guys so much. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. And as always, stay legend, Guardians.